They help feed three billion people, but rice farmers in Asia are now under pressure. Less land for farming, smaller profits, climate change, and simply the back-breaking nature of the work means that fewer young people are willing to become rice farmers. But now, a new project in the Philippines is trying to interest the next generation in a vital industry, as Dominic Hughes reports. It's hot, dusty work. Under a scorching Asian sun, Philippine rice farmers are struggling to make a living. Many will be lucky to take home $200 from the first of four harvests this year. So, not surprisingly, many of their children are now choosing a different path. Most kids today are intelligent, but they prefer to use their brains to make easy money. What these kids don't realize is that their easy money is worthless if there's no more rice in the market. I want my children to understand that a farmer might not make big money, but compared to other professions, it's hugely valuable. But here's where the fight back starts. The International Rice Research Institute is so concerned it started a rice camp, where students from Thailand and the Philippines are taught everything you ever wanted to know about rice from planting to exploring rice DNA. Researchers have developed a genetically modified crop that can survive extreme conditions. It's a concerted attempt to revive an industry that's under pressure from spreading cities and changes in both climate and society. Rice camp should really exist. Well, um, maybe to enforce some children or maybe, um, you know, to make us think that farming is not that bad. It's a hands-on course. For many, this is their first chance to drive a tractor or mechanical planter, and there are mixed results. But the project has a serious aim, to bring a new generation to farming at a time when the global demand for food sources is increasing. So they're the two messages we're hoping the kids will take home. A future career in rice research or science, or a sense of greater pride or dignity in the fact that they are rice farmers and that they should stay as rice farmers. These farm children are having fun now, but they'll need to be persuaded there's a future in rice farming for them. Dominic Hughes, BBC News. And that's all from Asia Today.